Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the YS Idea Lab. My name is Josh with DownloadYouthMinistry.com, and we are hanging out here at YS. It is my privilege to introduce the games guru of all generations. Don't let his bald head or his gray hair scare you because the man is young at heart. We are about to have a lot of fun. Put your hands together for Les Christie. Les, come on out. Thank you. Thank you. It is, it's so fun to be with you guys. I am so excited to be able to share with you. Thank you, Josh, for that introduction. And I want to, I'm into games that require little skill, no athletic ability, and I, and I like to use props that are really inexpensive so it doesn't cost you a whole lot of money. And so I want to share with you a couple of games using a couple of props in this particular session. And this game uses a standard 27 inch, 26 inch bicycle inner tube. You can buy it at Target, Geek, or uh, Walmart, like 295, something like that. Not very expensive at all. But I began to think about how can you use an inner tube in a game? And I came up with a couple of games. And so the first game is this one. I'm gonna ask some people from the audience, some of you guys can come forward if you don't mind, come right up here. The object, yep, come up, and then squish close together. That'd be perfect, squish close together. And, and face the outside, that'd be perfect. Now what you do, now this, the, here's the, the cautionary note. This has this little nozzle right here. And I don't want anybody to get hurt, so you have to ask somebody to hold that. So I'm gonna ask you if you to hold that so no one will get hurt. And then you're gonna take this, the object is to, I'm gonna show you what an amoeba looks like. I call this an amoeba, and I'll show you what it looks like. But you get a group of kids, could be anywhere from eight to 12 kids, and you, have them take this, and if you guys would gently, that's a key word, gently bring it over their heads and then pull it down over their waist. And again, holding this part right here with the, uh, what's that called? It's like a uh, valve, the valve right here. Make sure that's protected right there. So you see what they look like right here. Then you can do a bunch of different games with this position. One game is like to set up refrigerator boxes and then they have to do an obstacle course to the refrigerator boxes. And you can time it, see how fast they can do it. And then you, if you have more kids, you could do like four or five of these at the same time going through the, see who does it the fastest. If you have a smaller youth group, you can just take your group with this size and then time it and then maybe a few months later say, do you think we could beat the time we had last time and they're anxious to try to beat that time. So it's a game you can keep bringing up over and over again. That's a cool game. The other game you can do with this thing that I'll show you is have them move. It's, it's difficult to move this. I'll show you how it is. Why don't you guys move that direction and show them how kind of hard it is to move. So they don't move really fast, right? Stop. And how about moving backwards? Again, they have to, and it's kind of funny because they're really kind of close to each other that way. Okay. Now again, one other game you can play with this is how many can you get in this inner tube? I'm not going to tell you how many I got in but it was a lot. So what you do is you have your kids try to get as many in this thing as, as you can, and you can, it can hold a lot. And if this person holds this right here, even if it breaks, which I've had them break, it, it'll, it'll flash outward like this, so it doesn't hurt anybody, it's just a kind of a little bit of a shock that it breaks, but you can tie it off again, use it again. But the object then is every week, say, the, whatever they get, you could say to them, you know, I, I think this might be a world's record. Who knows? The kids are going, wow. And then maybe a few weeks later, do you think we could beat that world's record? Last time we had 17 in here, do you think we could get 18? Yes! And so then they try to get that many in. And so you can just, and I've had a lot of people in this one. So, so you saw how hard it was to move, okay? I want you guys now gently take this off, because I'm going to show you one other trick you can do with this thing right here. Gently take it off, perfect. Grab that, bring it back here. You guys can sit right down there, except for you two guys, stay right up here. The rest of you sit down. If you two guys would come right down here, separate right there, perfect, right like that. So what you would do, what you could do, like in the summer, you could have, you'd have like maybe four of these amoebas, with like maybe anywhere from eight to 12 kids in, at, on a football field, all right? By the goal, goal uh, zone right them down there. But then what you would do, is you give a bunch of other kids, like four teams, having, these are water balloon launchers. They cost about $19, you can buy them on eBay, you'll see them all the time. And you would hold like that, if you guys would hold that. So you'd put a water balloon in here. Now you saw how hard it was to move in the amoeba. So you got four amoebas back there. There's four of these things lined up on the other side of the playing field. 
you put a water balloon in here, you pull this back, aim it up, and then you go BAM! And this thing just goes a high arch up in the air and comes down towards the amoebas. They've got to try to get out of the way. You saw how hard that was. Plus, they've got to agree which direction to go because some will go this way and some will go that way, and they're going, wait, wait, look at them! BAM! They get splattered with the water. Totally food and fun game. So that's a game you can play. This will only cost you about 19 bucks on eBay, and then this is only costs about three to five dollars in any most uh, stores, so you, you're set for a pretty cheap price for a, a lot of a game you can use over and over again. Let me show you one other game. This is pipe insulation. You can buy, this is about an inch size. It comes in six foot lengths that cost about two dollars. These are about 18 inches long, so in a six foot uh, length a, a pipe insulation, you can get four of these out of it. And I thought, what can you use pipe insulation for? See, it's got a split right here, so you can wrap it around pipes so they don't crack in the winter. But I thought, there's got to be some other ways to use this. So I came up with this little game called Elephant Stampede, okay? So what you're going to do with the Elephant Stampede is you're going you're gonna to get one kid. Let me quickly pick. Why don't you come up here? Come on up here. Here's what you're going to do. I want you to grab one of these. You're going to be the elephant, and these are your tusks, okay? You could have more than one elephant. If you guys, the rest of you guys come up here, a few of you guys come up here, why don't come up? Why don't you back up over here and kind of stay within the, the wooden framework right here. The object is that you'd play this in an open room. What she's going to do is she's going to try to hit the people in here, this group. This is, this, is, this is foam, okay? So it's just real light. It's very, very light. It doesn't harm anybody. But you always stress, you have to hit them below the waist. So you're going to try to hit people in this. You're gonna, you guys are trying to get out of the way. But you can't get you to stay on this little frame, frame though. So when you, and when you get hit a person below the waist, so that if you hit right here, okay, then that person is going to grab that, then they'll grab hands. Now it's two of you going after people. And you can both start trying to hit people. But when you hit somebody, again, they take the tusk, you guys hold a hand, and you're like this, you're going after them. So let's, let's, give it, let's show them what it looks like. You guys separate right there. You get ready. I'm going to let you guys go. Ready, set, go, Abby. You gotta get ready. Stay with on your thing. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, good, good, good. Get him. Ah, it's good. Come on, get grab on, grab on. All right, you guys got it. That was good. Good, good, good. Let me have these. Thank you very much. Go back right down there. They, they did a good job, you guys. So you'd have you know, in a big room. Of course, you'd have a lot of room, and you'd maybe have two or three of these, depending on the size of your youth group. And eventually, you have these great big long lines with these at the end, trying to. Tusk, Elephant Tusk. It's Elephant Stampede. It's a great game, and I uh, hope those were helpful. Thank you very much. Yeah.